Oh my. All right, welcome back to the channel. I'm over here uh, at Wing Deer still, We're going on to the back nine of the short baskets. Uh, this one's like 217 or something like that, probably a forehand. It's gonna go right past you. You ain't gonna be able to see the basket, but make sure to subscribe, like these videos, and ding the bell so you get all these notifications when I post something. But let's just go ahead and get into it. Yeah, I think I'm gonna forehand a uh, fairway on this one. It's not far, but I think I need to get far right. So I'm just gonna try to forehand something and get some skip. I hope it skipped far enough right once it hit the ground. We'll see. All right, so I actually hit a tree or it would have probably been ace running. So let's give this a little putt. Pretty sure that rolled really far. After the first term of the year, I was almost shake off for all the ways because I had so many. They rolled like 45 feet into the woods. But, oh well, let's go. Now this one comes straight out in front of me. This little mock basket is behind that tree that's at the bottom. So we'll hook a forehand at it and see if I can get one there now. It was a little short. Oh, Got a putt for two on this one. Okay, so I really don't know if the short basket or the mock is actually longer than the white basket or not, because I don't see it anywhere and the T sign says they're all in a row. So I'm assuming it's behind it, so I don't know. I'm gonna throw another putter down, hopefully down the middle, and see what happens. Went down the middle. Not that thing. I think this one plays to the wide basket. I don't really know. Somewhere right there, because I don't, the T sign doesn't have more than one basket on it. So I'm just gonna throw the same shot down the middle. It's in the middle. All right, this short one I think's like 320 something on the right side down through here. I'm gonna attempt to throw me a, a low forehand, I think, with the FX2. That looks so perfect. Gosh, I root skipped and hit the chain. That would have been amazing to save a two from with that. Here's something that's annoying. I threw a second of FX2 forehand and parked it off the tee. So sick. Like another two inches and it was stuck. All right, this one is like close to 400, slide uphill. 
in the middle. You might be able to see it out there. I haven't been throwing a lot of power forehands. Figure maybe what the heck, just try one for the heck of it. So. Yeah, it's so far for a forehand. So this is what I got for an approach. Pretty short, but it's far uphill. Whether you want to believe it or not, I was trying to skip one, so that would have been sweet. Spacing of this one in again. Three. Okay, so this short pin is like directly straight down through here. Looks like there's a wide gap to get there, or you could just go straight, but it's downhill. I think I'm going to try to throw a backhand A2 wide and see if I can skip over that way. I hit the exact same tree as I did for the long basket. This hole has gotten a lot harder now. I think I'm going to try to hit FX2 pretty hard and see if I can get it to skip up the hill or at least carry up the hill somewhere. Threw it how I wanted to, just didn't get to skip. All we got is wing deer shorts uh, to the mock baskets. It's got, it's, of course, has a challenge to it. It's not my favorite, but come check it out and see what you think about it. But that's all I got. Till next time. Peace.